Hi, my name is Ashley Yoder. I'm a fighter in the UC and the strawweight division. Hi, my name is Brianna Van Buren. I fight for the UFC. I am currently in the strawweight division. Hi, my name is Courtney Casey. I am a UFC fighter in the strawweight division. Hi, my name is Felicia Spencer, the Phenom. I fight in the UFC's featherweight division. Hi, my name is Jillian, the Savage Robertson. I fight in the UFC flyweight division. Hi, my name is Caitlin Neal. I'm a professional MMA fighter. I am signed with LFA Fighting, and I'm in flyweight division. Hi, my name is Randa, the Quiet Storm Marcos, and I fight for the, uh, the UFC the strawweight division. All the time, probably daily. Um, quite often. Uh, I receive a lot of uh, creepy messages, more messages than comments. <clears throat> Oh man, I would say at least two, three times a week. Um, definitely like once a week, I'd say, uh, get something a little out of the, you know, out of the normal realm. <laughs> uh, I receive uh, creepy comments daily, easily, uh, either in the messages or if they're just posted on my page. No matter what, every single day you're getting a creepy comment. I receive creepy uh, comments on Instagram almost daily. Or every single time I post is when I get a little bunch of creepy comments. Um, I think like, it's like once a day I get a creepy comment. Yeah, pretty much once a day, at least. You know, there are some very genuine people out there, um, you know, that want uh, a connection with their, you know, their fan or their whatever you want to call us, like a celebrity. I'm not a celebrity, but uh, they want that connection. But most of the time, it's like foot fetish people, people that want like my sports bras or underwear or pictures of my feet. That's insane. The pictures of my feet are insane. Oh, I mean, <laughs> uh, I get quite some creepy ones like, um, hey, I like your toes. Can you send me a picture? Um, or um, I get a lot of sexual questions like, hey, I want to hook up with you. Or, um, hey, I'm outside of your house. Can we can we hook up and stuff like that? So, yeah, I get a lot of weird sexual people talking to themselves like I'm not even having a conversation with them and they're having like a full-on like sending me multiple messages like one out after another every single day hey good morning babe good morning this oh I did this today and I'm like is this real like is this person really having a conversation with themselves I get people like that asking like, oh, would you ever train a male? Do you think you could beat up a guy? Can I come in with you? I want you to beat me up. Can you put me in a chokehold? Like weird stuff like that. And I'm like, this is weird. Like, this is weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, most most messages are, are pretty pretty normal and just short, you know, hey, how's it going? Uh, usually the ones that get a little bit out of, you know, out of, uh, out of ordinary or just commenting on looks, you know, like, you, you know, you look very beautiful, gorgeous, that kind of stuff. And then there's always some that are kind of, um, you know, getting a little bit more, uh, I don't know how I would put it, um, like, you know, get people that want to, like, try to grapple you, fight you, that kind of stuff. Just to, I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but most everything. <laughs> I get a variety of messages and comments, mainly guys sending me flowers or kiss emojis or hearts. Or there's other ones commenting on body or how good I look that day or how my butt is getting bigger or just a random a variety of messages. Um, get a lot of uh, dick pics. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that, um, Snapchat is the worst for that, but um, uh, a lot of comments are, honestly, a, a lot of comments are about my feet. You know, people want feet pics. <laughs> uh, 
Um, well, you know, being the comedian that I self-proclaim myself as, I have to send them back on Google and like find the most craziest looking feet and I usually send them that, like as my own. I actually, uh, I've done, you know, I entertain it to the point of like comedy, but once it starts a little weird, I cut it off, so. Oh, I just ignore it now. I got to the point where I was just like, uh, it's whatever. Um, I have like a priority uh, for Instagram. So it kind of like shuffles. It's cool because it'll kind of generate like uh, my top priority uh, mail, like as far as like people who Instagram thinks that, you know, is relevant or, you know, um, so I ignore it now. Um, every now and then sometimes i don't even read them or like i'll go back and like delete some messages um and i'll be like oh i forgot about that one but yeah um most of them i don't reply like some some of them are are just like absolutely ridiculous that i don't even like open and i can kind of tell like because they'll like pop up because not my friends so they like pop up in the additional ones and i'll click on it and i'll see their profile and I'll just click their profile and they don't have any followers or anything like that. So I like, I just delete them. But some of them like, I'll open and I'm like, oh, I can't believe, I was like, God, I can't believe they're sending this stuff. Um, for some of, some of the time I just kind of ignore it. Like if, if there's, if there's a comment that has no need for a response, I'll just delete it and just kind of, you know, ignore it. Um, sometimes I'll just pass my phone over to my husband and say, here, go ahead, have fun. You know, so <laughs> it's all, it's nothing I take personal. So it is what it is. I honestly ignore them more than anything. Uh, sometimes it's like if somebody's trying to poke at me a little bit or something, I want to reply back, but uh, if they're too crude, I delete them, but I just try to ignore them. <laughs> I kind of just ignore them. I feel like it's really weird that they take time out of their day to message people like that. And I, if it's really crude, I'll say something back like, hey, that's not cool or that's not appropriate. But most of the time it's just like a flower or a heart emoji. I either just like ignore it or I'll, sometimes I'll like it if it's appropriate. Uh, I just, I honestly don't respond. I just block. I'll block people or I just ignore it because I feel that the moment you respond, you just get more and more messages. Um, honestly, it's never really bothered me. I thought it was just like a, a female fighter thing, you know. I thought like, you know, you just, we're in a very uh, unique place in a um, male dominant industry. And, you know, so that I felt like just brings kind of that open, that gateway to allowing you know, that little extra push of comfort level for most people because most females, I mean, we have thick skin, so especially as fighters, we definitely have thick skin, so. Oh, I just ignore it. Um, honestly, I learned to just, just ignore it and just, it doesn't really affect me in any way. I mean, um, I don't reply to them, so. I don't really feed into it. Um, I mean, I really don't have any feel. I don't have any connections with those people, so it's kind of like, it's just more like odd to me, like disturbing of like people just being able to send other people that stuff and be okay with it is more kind of the way I feel about it. But it doesn't really affect me in any way because I, I don't know them and I try not to get involved in any of it. I don't reply if, or and stuff like that, so. Most of the time, it's just kind of like ridiculous. Um, I, well, you know, so but for the most part, I just kind of like say, oh, okay, that's, you know, whatever, and just kind of go on, on with my day. It doesn't really affect me one way or another. Um, usually, you know, positive messages are, you know, more, um, you know, they, they influence me more. I, I feed off of the positive vibes more than anything that would be negative or weird out of the ordinary. So for me, you know, it is, I just kind of go about my day and go to this. <laughs> uh, I guess it, it puts you in a weird place because it's like you appreciate the love, you appreciate the fans, but it's also like sometimes it goes a little bit too far. It doesn't 
<laughs> it kind of just depends on the message on how it makes me feel if it's just somebody that I feel like is genuinely being nice or encouraging I'm like okay that's nice but if it's actually a creepy comment or message um, it makes me feel uncomfortable it makes me feel a little bit unsafe and it also makes me feel like an object like they're not respecting me as an athlete that I am they're more just looking at me to like do whatever they want <laughs> uh it kind of like it kind of makes you feel like shit a little bit you know like just because like you you know out of everything that you do they talk about like things like your looks and things like your feet or you know what I mean like instead of like all the things I've done in the sport you're you're focused on like you know, something that doesn't have anything to do with the sport. <laughs> uh, well, not creepy, it's, it's a foot fetish one again. But, uh, the, the best was how I responded. So, this guy asked me for my feet. I decided to He's also a UFC fighter. He said, hey, I'm going to go run around in the parking lot, take a picture of my feet, and then send them to him, act like they're mine. So I was like, all right, let's do it. Right? So Chas Gilly, I think he fights at 145. He's a little guy. So, so runs literally sends me a video of him running around the parking lot. Dirty feet, right? Sends them to me. He actually has pretty you know, like feet for a fighter, a male fighter. Um, and so I sent him to this guy. And he's just like sitting on, oh my god, there's, oh, I can't believe, it. these are amazing, all this stuff, right? Just going in on how beautiful Chaz Skelly's feet are. And I'm sending Chaz, you know, like every screenshot of like what's going on. He's like, he's like so flattered. And then all of a sudden, like maybe two days later, the guy goes, you have a tattoo on your foot. Whose crusty did you send me? Like, and just... So I'm like crying, laughing, I can barely breathe. I like screenshot those messages, send them back to Ske er, Chelle, er, uh, Chas Skilly. And he's like, what? He's like, he was like super offended. The guy was like, didn't like his feet after he found out they weren't mine. But that's probably the, I mean, you know, I don't get anything like where I feel like my life danger. I just feel like there's people out there that feel like behind a computer board, they can get a little bit more you know, balls or whatever you want to call it, you know, and it's unfortunate, but it's sometimes it's funny, so I don't mind. The creepiest message I've ever gotten, there has been multiple. I've gotten messages on Facebook where people are actually like having full on conversations with themselves and sending me um, their private parts and um, there are messages that I got on Instagram where uh, people are like having conversations with themselves but also um, like arguing with themselves. It's weird, it's weird. So I've had like, yeah, I've had some creepy messages. I haven't checked my, my Facebook, I'm not consistent on checking my Facebook messages um, as consistent as I am with Instagram. But Facebook is a little bit more intense, it seems, than, than Instagram. But Instagram is getting up there. The creepiest one I ever got was a um, guy took my photo, had a photo of me, and he was standing in front of his mirror naked holding the picture <laughs> over his privates. And I was just like, why would you send me that? Um, well, a, a few years ago, before I was in the UFC, there was there was definitely one that was, uh, I'd say, maybe more uh, violent than creepy, with just you know um, a lot of repetitive comments and public comments on, uh, you know, find me, you know, references to rape and all this crazy stuff. So kind of a violent, creepy one, um, which stopped after a while. I think he ended up being in jail, and then. Um, just recently, actually, I think he got out of jail and then started doing it to my teammate. So I was kind of <laughs> passing the buck over. But, um, uh, but that'd probably be like the worst, you know, the worst one. That was years ago, though. Thank, thank goodness. Yeah, within this last week, I've gotten one that uh, it's, it's just like people, they're like, oh, punch me. Or like, can you hit, uh, like, can you punch me? I'll pay you to uh, beat me up and stuff. It's like, 
Okay, that's weird. <laughs> so the creepiest message I've ever received, um, I used to, so people would ask me to marry them a lot in my comments, and so every single time that I got asked, or I got proposed to in the comments, I would just say yes because I thought it was funny. But there was one guy that I said yes to from a foreign country, and a week later I noticed that his profile popped up again on my account and he had changed his last name to Neil, which is my last name. I was like, oh no, what just happened? And so we went and I have, um, like I had a group of people, people that I worked with, we went and looked at his profile and his, he changed his profile um, background image, this is on Facebook, to a photo of me. And then he reposted probably 20 to 30 of my pictures on his page. And so it's like captions with everyone that was like, Caitlin is my girl, oh my gosh, my wife is so beautiful, and stuff like that. I can't wait to see her. And it was just, I, it was just a joke for me to say yes, but that happened. But it gets better. So I looked in my message requests because I was not friends with him. So his, all of his messages went to, uh, filtered out into a request column. And he, so he's from a foreign country and he said, hey, I'm gonna meet you at this location, which was 20 minutes away from my house in where I lived. And he said, I have a, um, I got your K tattooed on my finger and he sent me a picture of his ring finger with a K tattooed on it. And yeah, that was the creepiest thing that's ever happened. I, I had to block him, bite him, just try to get myself away from him as far as possible. Um, the creepiest message, somebody um, asked me if they could send me some nylons and if I could wear the nylons, and then I could send the nylons back. <laughs> I thought that was really, really off. <laughs> um, I've had people that have asked me to marry them. Like, for real, same people over and over again. I've been proposed to multiple times. Um, someone said was gonna send me shoes because they love my heat. Someone uh, asked me to pay for their parents' surgery. I'm like, do you? I don't know if you've ever seen our our pay is pretty much known. We don't get paid that much. I wish I could help, but I couldn't. So, I mean, it's all over the place. But you know, it, it's very like flattering to know that people like really enjoy me as a fighter and you know my my personality on Instagram. So, funniest one I've gotten, huh? Um. I think uh, the the one of some guy asking me if I can take a picture of my feet because he loves my feet and he actually zoomed in on um, my feet when I was fighting and like sent it to me and asked me if I can like uh, send him a signed autograph of like that specific picture and yeah so that one was kind of but. Well, I get a lot of people ask me to show show them my feet. Um, that's like, I get that like all the time. Uh, but one guy sent me a video of what he wanted me to do with my feet. And he wanted me to <laughs> like obviously use my feet on certain shaped vegetables and fruit. <laughs> And I thought it was kind of funny because he used his feet like he was like, or someone's feet, I don't know, but it was definitely male feet for sure. Um, the funniest, um, I think I was thinking of a good one the other day, um, usually just the ones that they want to come come and fight and then they kind of, usually when, when they say that kind of stuff, I'll pass it over, like I said, pass it over to my husband and then he'll like, He'll try to set it up like, hey, you know, come to the gym on Friday and this day in January and bring $2,000, you know, so, and of course, then I'm, uh, um, I think there was a, a, a really funny one that I'm drawing a blank on, um, I guess funny, like, 
kind of weird just like asking for feet pictures and kind of just like weird like that that's kind of I hear that's more uh, normal for a lot of fighters than I would have expected so, um, so that's yeah I think mean, that's probably uh, another one that I could think of that I just literally got the other day some kid messaged me he's like I'm gonna make it into the UFC by 2025, and if I do, if you wait for me, I promise I'll make you the happiest girl in the world. And I'm like, what do you expect to get out of that? Like, <laughs> want me to wait down for you five years? The funniest one I've ever gotten was probably either that one, or it was one about my feet. I don't know why people have such a weird foot fetish, but, um, yeah, just like weird comments like, oh, your feet are looking so great today or something. I don't understand that. Um, the funniest, ugh, I don't know what the funniest, like just like people asking me to go to like a ball with them. I thought that was kind of like, you don't, you don't even know me. You want me to go on this special occasion with you, you know? Um, yeah, like pretty much like asking me out on dates and stuff. I just want to, I want to be a really good example and a mentor uh, to little girls and, you know, anyone that watches mine. I feel like all my posts are very um, organic. They're very me. And if you know me, that's, you know, it's just my personality. I'm kind of goofy. But, um, yeah, I just try to, I, I've never pressed the limits on, like, too much exposure on the skin. I mean, I fight in pretty much a bra of panties. But, you know, you won't really see me posting too many um, half naked pictures other than my fighting post. So, uh, yeah, I try to keep it, you know, PG 13. No, um, it doesn't really change. I still, I still am who I am. And, you know, I, I, uh, at the end of the day, I just still post whatever I want to post and whatever makes me feel good. I'm going to post it. Um, I don't feel like I post very provocative stuff anyway, so it doesn't really change the way I post. Um, I have tried to not put my feet in so many pictures, but then again, I fight for a living, so my feet are in a lot of pictures. Uh, but other than that, it, it doesn't change the way I post because I, I don't feel like I'm, like I said, I'm not getting like crazy weird stuff probably some of the other girls get, but you get mainly feet stuff and just weird creepers. Yes, baby. Um, but yeah, I try not to post my feet as much as possible. Um, no, I don't really, I don't really let anything uh, like that influence how I post. I usually just, whatever I post, I, I want to just represent myself and, you know, what other people think doesn't really matter. Um, not necessarily. I don't feel like I, I post anything that's asking for that kind of attention in the first place. I'll never post. I don't post anything too risque, but, um, you're going to get them no matter what. <laughs> Yeah, it changes a little bit of what I post on social media. I try to keep it very, I'm a little bit conservative as it is, but I try to not post my butt out there as much because I post a lot of workouts on there. So I try to not get like a straight on angle anymore. I try to make sure that um, my shirts aren't showing any cleavage, but that's just kind of more of my standards and kind of how I was raised anyways so I just try to keep it a little bit more clean and I'm a little bit more uh, uh, aware of what I'm posting and how people may react to it. Um, yeah definitely <laughs> I honestly like I try not to post pictures of my feet because I never really thought about my feet as like because I have some gross feet, you know, being in the gym <laughs> barefoot all the time. So like with that, sometimes I'll be like, okay, well, I can't post that picture. I got to crop my feet out or something or like, but, but um, honestly, like I, I, I try to stay very professional. I love what I do. And the first thing, you know, for me is being an MMA fighter and being a, a role model for all the women or the little girl, like watching me and, you know, wanting to be a fighter one day. I don't want to be um, posting things that get the wrong attention. So, yeah, it does definitely um, affect the way I post.
Um, I mean, just be, uh, I don't, I don't encourage it, but, you know, it's really, it's more like, I like the comedy of it, so as long as it's not too, like, personal or, and it's hearted, I don't mind. The feed pictures are actually really funny because I'm going to give you a little secret about myself. I have no ligament or a broken lig ligament in my smallest toe. So it's kind of been a laughing joke at my gym that I had like a snaggle toe because now I can't feel it. And so like if you ever look at my five pictures and this goes out to whoever wants to send me foot fetish stuff, you might think twice. Look at my foot, my right foot. Usually all four of my other toes are going one direction and my little toes going the other direction. A hundred percent of the time, if you see my right foot in a photo. So if you're gonna send me one, at least make sure you check that out first before you want some really cute these pictures for me. Think before you write or type, don't send it and then say, oh, I'm sorry, I meant to send that to so-and-so. Or and then you go on a full on, a conversation with yourself. Just think before you before you write. Don't don't do it. If you don't, you're not. If you want to send it to your mother or your daughter or your sister, then don't send it to us. Uh, a message to people being creepy is do you, I guess. And you know, it's um, you're pretty much just going to be ignored. If you know, unless it's something clever, then at least they'll give me a laugh. You know, so. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> what do you plan on getting out of it? Like, do you think that uh, when you post something like that, do you think a girl finds it really attractive and is like, ooh, I should reply? Like, just what's the purpose behind it? What's the end goal? <laughs> the message that I have for people trying to send me creepy comments and messages is that you're wasting your time. You're not going to get anything out of it. Um, just like, you know, just imagine yourself having a daughter one day. Your daughter's gonna get those posts too, you know, you know what I mean? Like, just think about that, like, you know, and, and plus, like, uh, on top of that, you know, I'm not gonna respond to you, so you can send me all the disgusting pictures or the disgusting messages that you want, I'm not gonna respond.